So, welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Horizons. Now, in the previous episode, Rico ended up failing the um, the test, the implementation test, and it was just Grusha not letting her have it, even though I do think it was a pretty good match from Rico. It was one of the best ones that we've seen so far. Grusha was like, you know what? Nah, I make the rules around here, and he was he failed uh, Rico, and he also said that that's over for her, so... I have a feeling that there's gonna be some way that we're gonna be able to redeem ourselves, that we're gonna be getting a rematch and Rico's gonna end up, end up get like passing the test. But the question is, how is that going to happen? I guess we'll see in this episode. So Grusha was great to see in the previous episode. I really like him as a character. Also in the games, I really liked him as well. He seems like he definitely has some things going on that need, that need to be resolved. So let's see if those things are gonna be um, addressed in this episode, I have a feeling there's gonna be, it's gonna be related to how the rematch is gonna happen, so let's see it. So if you wanna watch this, Uncatarum Blur, it's gonna be on my page, which is down in the description. And without further ado, let's go into Pokemon Horizons. Episode 64. Oh. Ooh. Mm. Oh, Grusha. <laughs> let's see it. I'm sure there's gonna be some way that... There's gonna be something that's gonna resonate with Grusha and... He's gonna end up granting Liko a rematch. Oh, look who's here. Look. <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, I'm a bit sick, so I might cough a bit. Look who's here. That's interesting. I was not expecting that. Oh! Oh, what a nice voice. Requiem. Blackie. The title is... This is gonna be a spoiler for the entire episode. Let's see it. Nope. And the creeping shadows. Creeping shadows. Interesting. Oh, she's still a bit down about it. <laughs> Dot <Dodge> Jankta. <laughs> Poor Dot just doesn't have the energy for it. Aww. Yeah, that does also feel bad. When you're already feeling down and then people around you are trying to feel cheer you up and you're like, oh, you don't need to do this, guys. Ho, ho, yeah. And the other two lagging behind. <laughs> oh, here it is. There's a tavern, or 
something. A hut. A cabin. Sure. Ooh. Huh? Oh no, Liko's gonna get stranded. No! Oh, she's completely lost in her own head. I like the way she's dealing with it, though. I feel like it's very realistic. Oh no! No! Oh, you! Are all of them here? Are Sandwich and Onigiri here as well? Oh. You underestimate her. Who got her? Say something. Ah. He had a hunch. That's a nice outfit on a Mithio. <laughs> he looks so casual. Oh! Oh! <coughs> Whoa! I don't know. I don't know what to think of a meteo, or like I don't know which side a meteo. I mean, a meteo has his own plans, but I feel like at some points he's not like. He's not so, so against our guys as the other ones are, as the other explorers are. I don't know. It's kind of weird. Um, Amitya is in a kind of like this off region where it's not completely an enemy, but most of the time he's an enemy. But sometimes he just kind of helps. It's kind of like uh, the Team Rocket thingy. Sometimes they just team up when they need to. Well... Well, maybe, may, maybe not. Such a cool design for a Pokemon. Nice! That was a cool line de de delivery. Wow. What better way to get over a loss than with a fight? Ooh! I mean, it's a strong... Oh, come on. Ah, uh, and Yarota is not is not dark yet. Nice, it's pure glass. Oh, the voice acting though, from both of them. Nice. Nice. 
Nice. Nice. Clean hit. I like how casual he's dressed, man. <laughs> oh, so you've evolved. That's such a cool name for a move. Sword of Regret. Or regret. Ball! <laughs> She's become stronger. Daga! Terrestar! He's so cool. He's so cool. Amitio is so cool, man. I wonder if Freed is keeping an eye on them or like trying to trace them. Oh. Oh, clean hit. That's gonna hurt. Oh, that hurts. Oh, that's gonna be a rough hit on Nyarote. Oh my god, he looks so cool as well, man. Look at him. Look at him. Oh. Oh, nice. Mm. Just one move spammer. Man. Come on, Rico, you got this. Oh, yeah. He's such a good VA. <laughs> what kind of effect is wait? What? It turns them into alpha Pokemon? What? Whoa! It's pissed. Whoa! One shot! Get headbutted. It's so strong that he managed to headbutt a ghost type.
Uh oh, they want that. Here it is. Here it is. This form. Yep. I keep forgetting which is the. Wait. So I never know if that's actually the stellar form. Like it's a talent thing. Or not talent. What's it called? Um, It's ability. Or if it's actually the terrestrialized form. I'm pretty sure it's not a ter terraform, right? It's just the talent that it has. Or uh, ability. I keep saying talent. Ability. Is it siphoning out the... Whoa! It destroyed it. And it's siphoning it out. Whoa! It absorbs all of the Requiem, or Requiri, Requiem, or what they call it. Eternal Blessing. Dude, the voice acting in this episode is crazy. There's so much emotion in it. From all of the characters. Okay, peace. Wait, there's gonna be the other girl. No, the bag. This looks like a setup. This looks like a setup. Whoa! Grimstar? No, not Grimstar. <laughs> oh, Grimstar is the dark fairy Pokemon. I forgot its name. You see, he's like, he's like such a, in such a weird position when it comes to like, villains. This is such a setup. Yup. Just teleported out. She's actually... I really like her design and her outfit. Rakurium, that's it. Interesting. They're opposite. Wait, 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 that's an interesting line, wait. Gibeon Sama held him in special regard. He was bound to get in our way eventually. So are they not... Are they trying to do something that's not... Are they trying to oppose Gibeon's orders or doing something on their own? Because that line makes me think that because Gibeon was fond of him, that's why they were like, oh, Gibeon is fond of him, so obviously he was gonna get in our way. That's how I interpret that. So that, does that mean that, yeah, they're actually opposing Gibeon in some way, shape, or form? That's interesting, because I thought Gibeon was behind everything happening here. And then familial bonds, blood ties, yeah, can lead to hardship. Okay. His grandson.
Okay, so Fred is not like following them. Okay. Ah, Grusha. Ah, oh, here it is. This is how it's gonna tie into Grusha. Okay. Was that Nimona? I think it was. I could. I think I saw Nimona's pant. Does uh, Mibrim not know teleport? Well, like, it can use like confusion to move the rocks. <laughs> He's angry or it's angry. It's not happy. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, it's just the Academy. Whoa, it's just the Academy uh, pants. Oh, shit. <gasps> what? No way. They're so cool. Such cool villains. All of them. Tango. Jesus Christ. What? Already? Damn, that episode flew by. Wow, really? 4.5 meters! That's huge! 700 kilos! Probably tail. Tail fin? Yeah. Ending! Let's go! It's gotta be the fail. Fail fin? Yeah, fail fin. What? Really? Oh, that makes sense. That makes sense, actually. That's a more uh, logical answer, I guess, yeah. I just kind of assumed. Okay. Cool. Cool. That This episode was so much more interesting than I thought it was going to end up being. I thought it was going to be just like a generic, oh, Grusha ends himself, ends up in some kind of, not ends himself. That's that's not what I meant to say. Uh, ends up in like some kind of predicament and then the squad comes up to save him or the other way around. And then something gets through to Grusha and they end up having like a like a talk and Grusha's like okay you know what I'm gonna let you have a rematch but no that's not what happened in fact it was actually so cool seeing I was never expecting explorers yeah I was never expecting them to show up like all of them basically without yeah actually all of them oh my god all of the admins showed up and they are ready to cause issues and they were already causing issues I wonder how like what is gonna happen with obviously Rico and um, Amithio, they're stuck in there. I wonder who's gonna be able to get them out. I feel like Mibrim maybe is able to like move rocks with like confusion because confusion can do like anything. Basically, it's like the all powerful moves alongside like psychic. Um, also, I wonder if it has teleport. I'm pretty sure it does get teleport like early levels, but this is the anime, it's not the game, so it's different. Um, so yeah, I guess we'll find out. It's gonna be cool seeing if Gru I'm gonna guess that Grusha's gonna end up helping them, and that's how the link is gonna come into like a rematch. Grusha, everything like that is gonna come together because that's what uh, Fried was alluding to when he said there's a gym. Unless he was alluding to Rhyme, but I'm pretty sure it was uh, meant to be Grisha, uh, Grusha. So I'm gonna guess that he's gonna end up saving Amithio and Rico. And then we also saw the biggest thing probably is um, Rakurium is a opposite to 
or like the energy of Requiem is the opposite to the energy of Therapagus, right? Which is really interesting because I'm pretty sure at first they were like, maybe it somehow enhances it and stuff like that, but they were like, no, it's it actually zeroes it out. So I wonder what that ends what that means because oh, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like that's good if they like wanted to weaken um Therapagus, but I don't think they want to weaken it, right? At least not right now. I feel like because they said I want to see the final form, which I'm guessing is the Terra form, right? Of Therapagus. Um they want to see that form for some reason right they said they need that form um so i wonder how this is gonna help them i guess we'll find out as we watch but spinal is just also the voice acting in this episode top tier just s tier voice acting man from amethio rico and spinal spinal is al always great be just because i really like his va um but amethio and rico are great as all well in this episode just <sighs> Such a great episode. Anyways, I am going to end this one here though. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.